Welcome back guys, it's finally post Olympia and you know what, look at that, we have daddy here and we're gonna do our first workout session together, right, finally, I was waiting for it for six months, <laughs> I, I left Germany and I missed the workout with you, we're gonna do legs today, right, yeah, where are we gonna train, we're gonna train at Fit Club, which is basically Jake Cutler's home right you ready yeah let's go inside <laughs> um, that's my daddy oh, all right guys, we're gonna start with leg curls, lying leg curls today to warm up the knees. And as I said, it's post competition, so we're not gonna have big loads today because the joints, they are still dried uh, because of the water, uh, water cut. So we're gonna do like lower weight, but like really, really good contraction. And we're only gonna do three sets. The first one is to getting to know how to move the weight and to feel because that's actually the first workout since over a week. I want to teach my muscle how to like how to move, how to contract, how to stretch. And the next set is like a real proper working set. It's not failure, failure, but it's like to to get the maximum repetition out of the set. And then we're gonna do a back off set, which is like a pretty solid 70% set. And then we go to the next exercise. We're gonna do three exercises for the back side and three exercises for the front side, which is six exercises total. And I guess that, that should give like a good, good stimulus. Even if we just do one proper working set, it's still three sets per exercise, which gives us like nine sets for front side, nine sets for back side, which is 18 sets in total, which is like a proper good workout. So we're gonna, start working out right now you're gonna enjoy the workout it's gonna be fun it's not about like fucking killing the weights today it's about having fun so guys enjoy it stretch and contract You like the gym? Yeah, it's nice. I love it. Let me show you the posing room. We have a posing room. Yeah. A secret posing room. <laughs> oh, <shit. 
But he's good. Did you see that? He can fucking cut. How old, how old are you? Like 86, 85? 25. 25? No, you're 50, 56? 55. 55. <laughs> 55, daddy badass is 55. 55, <laughs> solid muscle maturity. Guys, uh, we're gonna do a second, uh, second exercise right now. And don't forget, we hurt the hamstring eight weeks ago, so we should go slow and low. Um, we're gonna do the reverse hex squat, deadlift, stiff leg deadlift, something variation because it's in a safety way to perform. So it's not shaky, it's stable, and I feel safe. If I hurt myself right now, it would be a shame because it's not necessary to go to the gym anyway. We're just here for fun and hurting my, my bicep right now is like, it would be like fucking stupid. <laughs> Did not hurt, good contraction, solid. Yeah, perfect. Slow down and contract. Perfect. There's a mirror, you can see your back. Oh, for the like, back. Yeah. yeah, you can practice back pose in here. I spent so much time here yep. practicing the back pose. But look at the look at the mirror. I've got many hairs. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm so hairy, you know. Oh look at those cuts. Guys, let me know if you want to see my daddy compete. Post it down below in the comment section. I want to see him compete on stage. Look at that, guys. That's where my genetic came from. <laughs> so, but I'm Harry. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> That's fucking badass genetic. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite machine right here. It's a kind of a pendulum squat, original pendulum squat. And I can feel my knees feel so dry, like they feel literally cracky. So if we put more weight on it right now, I will hurt my knees. And guys, this right here is a good moment to explain that you should train smart after a competition. Post, post competition, there's like, it's not, not absolutely not necessary to go all in. There's no super rebound, you like you double your gains or whatever. It's basically recovering, getting fluid back, getting nutrients back, and you know, get a little bit of stimulus. Because we were outworking the body so much for the last past days and weeks. So we go smart right here. We increase the weight for a good 100 kilo squat, but we don't go for like a 200 or 400 pound squat. That's not what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna increase the amount of repetitions and we're gonna increase the time under tension. And that will give us a good stimulus inside the muscle, but we don't kill the joints. And that's basically what it's about right now. Guys, 
Let me tell you a secret. But don't tell Daddy. Basically, when Daddy is working out with me, we try to battle each other through hell. So basically, it starts with, hey, let's do squats, two plates, 10 reps. All right, how many, how many you did? I did 12. Oh, here, I did 14. I did 20. I did 10 with four plates. But, you know, we start battling each other. But now, both are a little sick, still having a little flu. So maybe my dad is not thinking about a battle. And I don't want a battle right now. <laughs> I'm post competition, guys. At least 20 reps. I did 20 reps. He, he said he did 22, but that is, you know what, I did 24. Next time you need to do 26. I told you guys, it's gonna be like that. It's, it, it's gonna be fucking like that. We're gonna finish the workout right now with the intensity kind of technique. It's basically um, the cluster sets, but basic cluster sets are like five reps, pause, five reps, pause, building up acid. But we're gonna do like 10 reps, pause, 10 reps, pause, and then we go all out, which is like between five and 10 something. And the benefit from this machine right here is that we put the legs upwards, so all the blood is coming down and our body is not able to get the acid out of the muscle. So we're working out, working out until the muscle gets hot and get, gets like, starts the pain, when the pain sets in, then we have the rest pause. We don't allow the muscle to get fresh blood so the acid stays inside and it will hurt very bad. And then we will continue 10 more reps on top. We will have the rest pause, have an acid still inside the muscle. We go again and again. And then what it does is basically it increases all the growth factors inside the cell. So all the receptors for testosterone, growth hormone, EG EGF-1, IGF-1, like all the building hormones, they get more effective inside the muscles if we are able to get the stimulus right now. And Daddy, he started to sweat, so I don't think he's enjoying it, but we're gonna kill him. One said we're gonna kill him. Don't tell him. Ah, 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 ah. My mouth gets so dry that my lip is fucking gluing on my teeth. My body is just crazy after competition. My water, like, I'm getting water retention in my legs and in my midsection, but my mouth is so dry. Like, I think my body is just fucking confused right now. It will take a, a bit of time, maybe two weeks, to go back, to recover a little to go back to normal because I'm telling you guys last week pre-competition was not like <laughs> it was not like just a normal life it was crazy I got so fucking sick I <sighs> I was so close so close to give up but we made it but my body needs recovery I can feel it daddy let's go Press, 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 slow. All right. One, two, three, go. Yes. And down. Hey guys, guys and girls, he's done. 
Just give him food and leave him alone and he will be happy. All right, guys, that's it for leg workout. And I need to tell you guys, there's a reason why I got good legs back in the days when I was like 18, 19 years old. Everybody criticized my legs. And then I, I asked daddy, how, how can I build up pretty good legs? Because he has pretty good legs. And he said, Mike, to be honest, I was a weightlifter before I turned into bodybuilding. So that's right. He, he was a weight, like a, a, was it Olympic weightlifting or was it powerlifting? No, Olympic weightlifting. Olympic, like the basic, basic Olympic weightlifting. Yeah. Okay. So he got the pretty good technique and he showed me how to do proper squats without using the glutes too much, you know, focusing on the main part. He showed me how to do it and since I did the squats correctly, my legs grew and grew and grew. And what he showed me, what he explained me is how to activate different muscle groups in a proper way. So if I want to target my hamstrings, I need to do this and that. And he actually explained me how to do it. So I'm very happy that he learned all the things I need to know right now, 20 years ago. So he can teach me all the important things that basically as an Olympic weightlifter, you learn the, the, like the fucking perfect form to move weight. And when it comes to bodybuilding, it's, it's about how you move the weight. It's not about that you're moving the weight because we're not powerlifters, we're not weightlifters, right? So that's basically the difference. How you move the weight or just moving the weight, right? Or what would you say is the, the most beneficial or the most interesting part between powerlifting and bodybuilding? Like, what's the most important part? So, at powerlifting, you should lift the most weight you can. Yeah. And uh, in bodybuilding, the weight is it's, um, just a tool. Just a tool for move your body, your muscle. Huh. It's not important how much, so how you move the muscle. Okay, yeah. It's not so much weight, no? He's doing it for over 30 years, guys. So listen, give him a listen. And uh, if you have any questions to Daddy, let me, do, uh, let me know down below in the comment section. You can ask whatever you want. He has like pretty good impression from back in the days, the pretty old school bodybuilding. We're happy and we're ready for post-workout, right? So what you gonna get? You, you will try the Olum um, Way Isolate Peanut today. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna love it. Peanut is tasty, guys. Don't forget, you can save 15% on olympsport.de with Cop Badass. Try the pretty new peanut flavor and we have the double chocolate way, which is pretty nice. Don't forget to check it out. And of course, guys, again, if you want to know anything about Daddy, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.